Hi, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Let's do this! Life is full of movement, and a lot of games are filled with constant movement because of that. Movement in a game can be swift, as in the game Caveman Run, or on the contrary, secretive and stealthy, as in the spirit of Splinter Cell Spiderbot, or it can be as smooth as the flow of fluid in the game Puddle. The new runner Caveman Run is a classic arcade game in the spirit of the first Sonic the Hedgehog games. The start of the game is simple, as most other games in the genre are. A dawning cave dude decided to diversify his daily diet and dared to steal a dinosaur egg for dinner. What can I say? There were no supermarkets back then, and people survived as they could. Our hero will dodge various obstacles and enemies while collecting chips on his way. As time goes by, you will be able to spend the accumulated balls for a variety of bonuses to facilitate the gameplay, though you will also be able to collect them during the run as well. Control in Caveman Run is maintained through the use of two keys, Jump and Rush with which you can overcome gaps in a straight line and shoot down any enemies that get in your way. In addition to traditional genres, we are also pleased with some of the bold new ideas in the indie games area. For example, our next guest for today is a physics-based puzzle named Puddle. Here you are to control not an abstract hero, but a simple puddle of liquid like water or oil. So the task is to direct an amount of fluid from point A to point B with the least amount of liquid loss possible, while taking into consideration gravity the force of friction, and any fluidity characteristics of the substance. Are you scared yet? No? Thirsty then? Well, I sure am. Ah, that's better. Unlike the recent Sprinkle Islands, Puddle has an absolutely new physics engine, specially designed for Tegra 3 processors. The game itself delights not only with an excellent imagining of real-life physical processes, but with exciting missions as well. E.g., in one of the tasks you are to move freezing water along some wires, or control the flow of glycerin in a scientific laboratory. Though the most original adventures of liquids are the ones in technical drawings, and even inside the human body. Uh oh, now I think I have to pee. And last but not least, I introduce you to Splinter Cell Spiderbot. On the threshold of releasing the next part of Sam Fisher's adventures, Ubisoft decided to slightly widen the limits of the original universe and released a game about one of the hero's gadgets, Spiderbot. Spider-Bot, Spider-Bot, does whatever a… Oh, sorry, wrong spider thingy. This game possesses three independent modes, Stealth-Bot, Spider-Bot, and Strike-Bot. Let's examine them in detail. The objective of the basic mode, named Stealth-Bot, is to sneak into this secret laboratory and steal a crystal. To do this, you have to hide from security, avoid the alarm system, and eliminate the enemy scientist in order to pick up the coveted crystal. Spider-Bot mode has a more arcade feel, in which you are to collect crystals scattered about the level while avoiding the security bots. An interesting feature of this mode is that the points obtained there can be transferred to Splinter Cell Blacklist. That is, if that sort of thing interests you, then be my guest. And finally, the third mode, Strike-Bot. It's all about shooting at enemies and using various other means for their elimination. Well, there you have it. That's all for today. If you like this, then download it. Put like on everything you can find. I like this review. I like kittens. Meow. Subscribe to the channel and join the group. There are tons of interesting things there. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. See you soon!